All right, coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with similar height and reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of six wins and no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 191 pounds. Fighting out of San Francisco, California, Dynamite. And now to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of two wins, two losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Gokan, the Rebel Saki! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. All right, so here we go with round one. This young contender has won his last three fights, and as many of you know, each knockout more impressive than the last. He'll try to extend the knockout streak here tonight to continue his path toward title contention. We'll see if he can keep it going here tonight. DC, it didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Lands the lead right punch. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick to DC. Now we're seeing visible. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, straight right. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. Good punch, Lance. He's got the right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he would continue. Oh! He was hurt. Serves him up. Go get him. Huge shots there. Oh, he might be out. Well, he works hard to get a 
up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of this. Oh. Gets up again here, but Hurton checks the leg kick. Oh, nice right hand. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always... Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 30 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout Dynamite! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check. All right, let's get in there. Let's push yourself today. Let's see what you got. Oh, good block. Man, your next opponent is going to be no match for you. Yes, those punches are adding up. See?
Some sweet science. Let's go. Nice defense. Damaged him, right? Power. I love it. Let's go. You got 30 seconds. Let's go. Beautiful combination. Keep it up. Put the pressure on him. Hey, sharp kid. That's what I like to. All right, you ready? I want to see good technique and form this round. Remember, repetition is key, and it always pays off. So let's go. There we go, that's the combo. Great job. That's what I want to see. Keep them busy in the clip. All right, you ready? I want to see good technique and form this round. That's how you block! Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Oh, 
Oh, nice punch. Nice punch. He felt that one. Yeah. Hey. Let's go. My clock doesn't stop until you submit it. Let's go. Listen, you fight like that, you're gonna dominate. Guaranteed. Nice transition. Okay, you gotta pass. Listen, come on, pass now. Good, good, great pass. Keep moving. Nice work, lock it down. 30 seconds. Nice work, lock him down. Yes, nice, nice, stay focused. There we go, nice work, kid. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body, but it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range. 
hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of JK. trouble. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. Reyes is seven years his senior. He is the six inch taller party. He will have a five inch reach advantage. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC light heavyweight division. It's first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 191 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, Dynamite. And now we're going to see the opponent fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of 13 wins, 6 losses. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Dominic the Devastator Reyes! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? All right, here we go with round one. I had to tell my wife, when this guy fights, honey, sorry, you're standing room only. This guy has reeled off a knockout streak that rivals some of the best in UFC history. He has won the majority of his recent fights by way of knockout, literally sending guys across the canvas, knocked out cold, and that's why he's on the radar of UFC fans around the world. As round one gets started, his opponent is certainly mindful of the power coming back his way tonight. Whoa! He's in trouble. Man, didn't like that left hand. Well, he's up, but he is hoping for certain the finish could come at any time. And a strong outside leg kick there. Jab yeah, hurt him a little bit. Oh, man. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Timing his shots pretty well here. Oh, what a fantastic strike. Oh, oh, he might be out. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Do you believe it? Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So, somewhat anticlimactic for tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So a big win for him here tonight and an even bigger statement made by virtue of the TKO. While we send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rugliotta is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 56 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO Dynamite! Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance and certainly their athlete delivered. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends as long as I'm not standing there waiting on the judges. He got his opponent hurt. 
and he found the follow-up shots that allowed him to get the TKO.